Hello! Yes! This has to stop right now. I know it's a crap camera. This has to stop right now. I was watching a video on YouTube yesterday. An eight-year-old child, eight years old, had his arm crushed under a car. Can you, as a human being, can you imagine that? In reality, this is what really happened. An eight-year-old boy steals a loaf of bread. And those bastards held his arm under a wheel of a car. And the car drove over his arm, crushing the bones of an eight-year-old child. The Arabs. This is the Arabs for you, man. How much is petrol worth? Get out of your car. Stop driving your car right now. And then, then, then you won't have this problem because they wouldn't have any petrol. Uh, but I was watching a video on YouTube yesterday, and an eight-year-old child. They held his arm under on the on the road, and they drove a car over his arm, crushing his bones. This is happening in the twenty-first century. This is really happening in the 21st century. They are crushing the bones of an eight-year-old child in Iran for stealing a loaf of bread. The camera's working for now. This is as good a picture we're going to get. A bit of a shit thing, but there we go. So what have you been up to, anyway? Are you having a good life? Make a first tape up. Did you know that Jesus Christ used to be a carpenter? Okay. So did you know that Jesus Christ used to be a carpenter? Can you imagine why? He was a very successful carpenter, actually, Jesus Christ was. There was Jesus, you know, and bent, you know, hammering the nails. And the Romans kept coming round to Jesus and said, Hey Jesus, can I buy another plank of wood? And Jesus said, Well, I'm a carpenter. Yes, you can have another plank of wood. And then the next Roman comes around. Right? Another Roman comes around and says, Hey Jesus, man, you're a great carpenter. Can I have a plank of wood? And Jesus says, Yeah, yeah, of course you can. Yeah. Can I have some nails? Came the next Roman. Roman came around and he said, can I, have a, can I have some nails? And Jesus says, yeah, of course you can have my nails. Have some nails, yeah. Anyway, this went on for some years, like, you know, every few days, you know. Roman would come around and say, hey, Jesus, can I have a plank of wood? And one day after that, another Roman would come around and say, Jesus, can I have some nails? And Jesus was making a lot of money out of this, you know. He was doing really well for himself as a carpenter. You know, selling planks of wood and nails to Romans. If only he had known what they were for. Uh, if only they had known what they were for. Never mind. Yeah. You don't have to explain everything in sang language now. Anyway, no, this is about the best we can get for now, I suppose. This will do for now. Anyway, what else was I going to talk about tonight? Oh, yeah, I thought I'd ask Jesus, what is the meaning of life? Well, if you don't know that, you must be dead already. So I got a note saying, Jesus, what is the meaning of life? I said, if you don't know that, then you're not really living, are you? If you were actually really living, you would know what life is about, living. Isn't life about living? Isn't that the reason you're alive? To live. 
I mean, is it that difficult for you? I don't know. Is it really that difficult for you to imagine? What's the point of living? Well, to live, to have fun, to do things, to like paint pictures with your hands if you've got any left. You know, you can make films if you have the video camera, but you've destroyed the video camera, haven't you? It's terrible, it's terrible every night, all changing the scenery, you know what I mean? But anyway, yeah, you keep, you keep fucking throwing away history, you've destroyed the VHS video and the analog television, and you'll never see this fucking film that I'm just making right now, but, you know, it's life's like that, isn't it? Allah, you know. But I mean, I was a bit disturbed, because I, I was actually watching one of these Arab, um, watching the YouTube, right, I was watching YouTube, and this Arab kid, eight years old, still a little loaf of bread, you know, and they actually crushed his arm, literally crushed his arm, under the tyre of a car. And I'm thinking, you sick fuckers. You call yourselves human beings. You are not human beings. If you can break a child's arm, if you can... If, if you, you crushed a child's arm underneath the tyres of a car, eight years old, you call yourself a human being. You're not a human being. Let me see your face for the Arabs. Let me see your face. Do you know, if, if, if a teenager wore a hoodie, if a teenager wore a hoodie, you know, like hides his, his head under a hood kind of thing. You know how teenagers, their hoodies, they do hoodies, you know, they put their hoods up so you can't see their faces. You would arrest them, wouldn't you? And you strip search them and search them for drugs or whatever. The teenager wears a hoodie. That's 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 against the law. But if an Arab woman wears a mask, she can't see her fucking face and hide her eyes. You know, oh, well, I'm an Arab woman. You can't see me. I'm hiding. I mean, how are you going to judge people? How do they get? How do these Arab fucking fanatics get into this country? Seriously, how do these Arab, Arab, how do these Arab fanatics get into Britain? Can I see your passport photograph, please, Mrs? Can I see your passport photograph? Yep, those eyes match. How do these fucking Arabs get into Britain? You know how these Arabs, they wear the masks, don't they, so you can't see their, their faces. And they wear these masks, so they're hiding their eyes. How do they get into this fucking country? Can I see your passport photograph? Uh, Yet yeah, the eyes match. I mean, how, how can you, you know, you look at a passport photograph of an Arab woman and, and they've got no face because they're hidden by these masks and they say we're naked for showing our faces. I was watching a film on the YouTube, it was fucking brilliant, Sasha. It was Sasha, someone or other. She did this thing about Luton. It's worth watching on the YouTube, by the way. Something about these Arab fanatics in Luton. And, like, it's crazy, man. And, like, they get away with all this shit. You know, they're allowed to hide their faces and pretend, you know, and just show the right like that, like that, all the time. Hello. Believe in me. I'm real. Are you? Why do they always hide their faces, these Arabs? Are they, what are they scared of? Their, their own faces. How can you possibly think that a face is obscene? How can you possibly think that your own face is something to be hidden? Why would you possibly hide your own face under a mask? About these Arab fanatics, why would you possibly hide your face under a mask? It's a bit sick in the head, isn't it? There's something fucking wrong mentally with their fucking brains. Anyway, I'm just preaching now. I'm going to turn this off for a while. Anyway, Allah. But will you stop? What the fuck? How can we possibly allow human beings to crush a child song in Iran? And they stone women. You know, they throw stones at women. We let them into, their, into our country and they want to enforce their Shire law onto Britain, don't they? They want to enforce their Shire law on, onto the people of Britain. We're human beings. We are the English. We are British. We are here. But they're trying to enforce their fucking Shire law onto us. And, uh, and they won't even show their faces. 
Anyway, I'm going to be talking about this some other time. Anyway, I've got to close down now. No, I don't, really. I just can't think of what to say about it. I'm a bit sickened by what's actually happening in Iran and stuff. They stone women still, but yeah. Like the Middle Ages. It's before the Middle Ages. This is like fucking it. Before Jesus, man. You know, it's like the fucking Jesus thing, isn't it? You know, before Jesus arrived in that part of the Middle East. The funny thing is about Jesus is he was supposed to have grown up in the Middle East, wasn't he? Isn't Jerusalem in the Middle East? Okay, isn't Jerusalem in the Middle East? Uh, oh, there's John, there's Matthew, and there's Bert, and there's Humperdinck forever. What is this bullshit about the apostles? This Bible shite. I don't get it, man. Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. How many Matthew, Marks, Luke's and John's were there in Afghanistan? You know, it's not really a common name in Afghanistan, is it? You know, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Hi there. <laughs> We've just come from uh, Jerusalem. Uh, oh, pardon. <laughs> they don't even speak the same language. But anyway, I don't get this fucking religion shit at all, man. Because, like, you know, you think about Jerusalem. Where is Jerusalem? Well, the Middle East, I think, Jerusalem is in the Middle East, isn't it? Isn't Jerusalem sort of like in the Middle East? Mohammed Mustafa, you know, Islam, or whatever, that shite. How the fuck did Jesus he never got to the Middle East, really, did he? Because, like, when you think about it, like, with this Jerusalem shit, it's all set in the Middle East, isn't it? And you look at the Middle East and they're crushing kids' arms and they're killing kids and they're killing children and doing horrible things to people. And, and I don't get it because I, I, I thought Jesus was supposed to have been born in the Middle East. Uh, I really don't know any Matthew, Mark, Luke and John's in the Middle East, basically. You know? And I think it's a little bullshit, your religion. Man. I think you just wasted 2,000 years. Anyway, I could prattle on forever, but I really ain't got nothing to say that I ain't said a thousand million, billion times before. But how about, how about, oh, good night. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm going to stop this now. Anyway, hello. Anyway, if you want to see some more of me, I'm, I, I, I'm on William Z, but, you know, this channel. So I suppose I'm going to stop this film because it's getting a bit, I'm a bit down, a bit of a down. But anyway, have a nice night.